some more verifying here. We verify all day long, like it's super cool. So, so we want to verify uh, tangent x plus cotangent x equals secant x cosecant x. And the, uh, the way that we're going to do this one, and as you can tell by our heading here, is converting to sine and cosine. So that's one method, uh, along with all the other ones that we've been doing. Uh, to verify these trig identities is to convert everything into sine and cosine. So let's do that then. And I'm going to probably work just with the left side, and I'll, I'll convert it to the right side then. All right? Uh, so tangent <clears throat> from our identity is a sine of x over cosine of x. And we can rewrite cotangent as cosine of x over sine of x. Cool. Well, we have two fractions, so let's go ahead and get a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this side top and bottom by sine of x. And I'm going to multiply the right side by cosine of x. Cosine of x. All right. So sine and sine, awesome, gives us our sine squared of x. Cosine, cosine, it's going to give us cosine squared of x. And that's going to be all over our, our common denominator of sine of x, cosine of x. All right. Huh. Sine squared plus cosine squared. Aye. That's just one, right? So I'm going to just do one over our denominator, sine of x, and then cosine of x. Now, we you can break that up and do two different as a product of two fractions. So that means I can write this as... 1 over sine times 1 over cosine of x. And what do you know? 1 over, or I'm sorry, secant is 1 over cosine, and 1 over sine is cosecant. So I'll just rewrite this as cosecant of x, and rewrite cosine as secant of x. And we have a voila! And of course, multiplication is a commutative, so you can switch those guys all day long.